eyes from this tornado. We reported that, but there is information circulating on the internet. You'll see some very large numbers. Well, I want to tell you, we have confirmed 51, but the ME says, don't be surprised. We think we may have 40 more people on the way. So what they're saying is we have 51. We think 40 more may be on the way. So if you see that number 91, we are now hearing 91 people may be dead from this tornado. And that again, we're waiting for confirmation on that. But just as she said, this is from Amy Elliott with the uh, AMA's office, that those, there may be 40 bodies on the way. Folks, we're not sure where those might have came, come from. Uh, we know the Plaza Towers Elementary School uh, was said to be just a, a terrible scene there uh, where the school collapsed. Uh, that is about a mile west of the Warren Theater, which sits on I-35, a mile west of there is where that school was. And that's, that's people uh, digging through uh, the rubble. I think that is the school right there. Early, it's hard to tell from that shot. Well, maybe 7-Eleven, but we'll it could, it could be. Because it's kind of like the tornado damage. I think that on the left is the school. But that video on the left is the school. Um, so really tough news that we've heard today. The ME again confirming 51 people have died, but they're saying we may get another 40 more people in here before, probably before daybreak. So we'll be watching those numbers. Let me tell you too, as you look at video from earlier on, that's the Warren Theater, and they experienced substantial damage there to their roof and to their windows, and that's just on the edge there, right into I-35, and just west of it, neighborhood flattened east of it. The tornado path did narrow down some, but we have a lot of devastation just east of it. We are going to be continuing our coverage here on News 9 throughout the night. We are going to stay on the air through tomorrow morning and on if need be, because we want to bring you information as we get it. This is a very fluid situation out there, and even though they are secure in the area, they are not giving up searching. You can't give that up, and so we want to be getting new information. And so I'm going to be stepping off the desk. Tammy Payne is going to be taking over for me. And she's going to be with Kelly for a little while. And uh, just bringing you up to speed. And we want to just keep you updated right here on News 9 throughout the night. Right. So Tammy Payne is going to step in for Amanda now. And uh, we're going to trade out there. And uh, good work getting some rest. It's going to be a tough thing. It really has. been a tough day. And our hearts, as we look at the devastation, our hearts just go out to these people and more because of everything that they're going through. And so we just ask tonight that if you are up with us before you go to bed, just either keep them in your thoughts or say a prayer for them tonight because they will need that. And I'll uh, turn it over to Penny Payne and you, Kelly, um, okay. and I will be back tomorrow. Okay. All right, folks. The situation here at uh, 1225 tonight, there is a possibility that the uh, death count uh, from this uh, Moore tornado that hit nine hours ago now could jump way up here in the next few minutes. Right now it is at 51 with at least 20 children confirmed killed in this so far. Amy Elliott with the medical examiner's office tells us there may be 40 more bodies being taken to a makeshift morgue that has been set up. That would jump the number to 91. That is being reported some places as fact. It is not yet until the medical examiner confirms it. And uh, quite frankly, we'll hope it turns out to be an, a, a wrong report and the number stays right where it is because it's awful enough as it is. May 3rd, 1999, 44 people were killed in that tornado, 300 homes destroyed. So it's possible that we could have twice as many people killed in this one, and uh, property damage is unbelievable in that area. So we'll wait for work. In the meantime, I don't know if the search operation continues, search and recovery operation, we assume that it is now, is even continuing at this point. Uh, down at the elementary school. If Evan is still down there, uh, I'd like to ask him if there are, are there indications that they are still going through that, or do they think they have gone through it everywhere where there might be victims? Yeah, one more time. Yeah, Evan, can you see, are they still actively searching 
or is it possible that they're done and think they've gone through everywhere where there might be victims? Well, I've been told by the Oklahoma, Com Oklahoma Commissioner, Oklahoma County Commissioner, that crews are not actively searching at this point. They have called off the active search. Um, it, it appears, though, as if they're kind of canvassing the area, just really securing the area right now. But as far as we know, crews are no longer searching. They will be in recovery mode starting back tomorrow morning, uh, Kelly. Okay. Appreciate that update, Evan. Now, we've had crews down in the area all day, kind of uh, uh, around uh, the devastated area. Again, this is uh, really stretches about a mile east, maybe a little bit further west from the Warren Theater. Make that the, the center point of where this tornado crossed I-35 and cut through more. It started down in Newcastle and came through today. And it really hit more about 3.15. It was a terrible time. The schools did what they knew to do, and that was to keep the kids where they were. They didn't want to load them on school buses. They didn't want them outside the building. They held them, and, that's, uh, they, and they got them in the hallways, and they tried to get them safe. But when a tornado with the power of the one that you see hit that school on the left of that video, when you get a tornado like that, it doesn't matter what kind of precautions you take. If you're above ground, people are going to get hurt. And that is what happened. This school took a direct hit, Plaza Towers Elementary. Briarwood took a pretty substantial hit, too, but the kids, only a few minor injuries there, which is amazing. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like walls collapsed or something happened there at, uh, at uh, Plaza Towers. And Tammy Payne joins me now. And Tammy, uh, you don't watch this, and you were here from May 3rd, 1999. It's just... Yeah. Uh, it's been an unbelievable day. We've so many of us who were here. We have, we have that historic perspective and just shock and awe yep. that we're in the same place. I was in a more neighborhood last night, um, not far from where I reported 14 years ago. Um, so so tragic. We want you to know that we are 100% committed to staying on the air until every person in uh, the metro in Oklahoma is accounted for. Um, when we come to you with a lot of hope and a lot of sense of emergency to pass along information to you as soon as we get it. Because we know so many of you will be staying with us overnight. You are up tonight. You have not been reunited with all of your family. And many of you have not been reunited with your children. So we are in it together through the night tonight and tomorrow. Yeah, but it's, it's going to be a pretty long haul, folks. And we'll be down in the area tomorrow morning at, at, at daylight. And, uh, uh, I tell you, Tammy, I'm also listening to more scanners here in one sure. ear, and you're in the other ear, yes. and, and trying to try because there's little bits of information, and we get a clearer picture of what's happening down there tonight. It sounds like it's, it's turning pretty quiet down there tonight, and they're trying to get people over to a couple of shelters right now. And I'm not sure if there are any kids left at First Baptist Church in more. I would hope not. At 12:30, those kids who were transferred from the schools over there to the parents to hook up with them. But they did have counselors over there, and there were reports of kids over there within the last hour. Right. So hopefully everyone's been claimed at this point. I certainly pray so. And I heard you talking with um, Evan just a moment ago about whether or not the search or rescue was still continuing there at the school. I wonder if we have any of those reporters who can hear us right now, because I want to ask a question.